you haven't heard of Good Good Golf, well, you might be Eamon's vintage or you must not go on social media or YouTube very often with nearly 1.5 million subscribers on their channel. The guys at Good Good have created great and fun content of matches and shots for the last several years. One example of that came back in 2021. Take a look. Hey, if we make a hole in one, I just have a weird feeling, boys. Holy. Dude, <laughs> what? I quit. I quit life. Listen, no, look I, at this. Come look on, at baby. This. Come look on, baby. This. Bro. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I love my group. That is the Bro. greatest three. No. 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 no, no. 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 Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. No! 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 Wait, 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 no! 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 And Minwoo Lee and Bubby Broders join us right now from the Coachella Valley. You know, golf brings, you know, different people together. Minwoo, how did this friendship begin with you and, and Good Good? Yeah, um, you know, actually, I knew Garrett from a long time ago, probably like when he first started, when Good Good wasn't, wasn't a thing, yeah. so it was a while ago. Um, and then, you know, my manager and the founder of uh, Good Good were very good friends, and... Um, we just got into contact and, uh, you know, the boys are my age and, um, you know, social media is pretty easy to get in contact with each other now. So it was, uh, it was easy. It was, um, you know, it was the, it was the right time and um, we've, we've shot a couple of videos the last, last week. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for the, for the partnership and the relationship we have. Bobby, well, I asked Nick McAnally over at Callaway Golf what made Good Good an, an interesting partnership from his standpoint. He said it was a way to reach a younger engaged demographic that maybe legacy companies struggle with. When did you guys realize that your approach to golf could actually be a business more so than just having fun? Yeah, so obviously we're blessed enough to travel all around the world and just be a group of buddies and make uh, golf content at some of the most beautiful courses there are, that the world has to offer. And that's obviously kind of everyone's dream is in golf, travel the world, play the best courses you can with your buddies and have great times. And the sport makes it easy to connect to people. It's a, it's a very transcendent sport. And you know, the demographic of, for us is obviously 18 to 34 is our normal demographic. And I don't know, the partnership with Callaway just hit home uh, from trick shots and everything, the content, everything's kind of going over to YouTube. A lot of people aren't watching TV as much and we were just blessed enough to hit it at the right time. And our CEO, Matt Kendrick, who helped us start Good Good was really the one who took the content and turned it into a business. And it's all just been a blessing and worked out well. 18 to 34, Eamon and I just on the other side, just outside that demographic. But I've seen some <laughs> of the videos, Bubby. I mean, you guys can absolutely move the ball. You're driving par fours and the like. But do you get nervous when you're inside the ropes with a Min Woo? Do you get nervous that you're playing with Tommy Fleetwood as um, you have? It's weird. It's like you think you would, but... You I don't know. At the end of the day, no, I'm not that special. It's, it's not, all good. I mean, We're all friends. <laughs> it's more so. It's exactly. It's more so. It's feel like you're out on the course, hanging with the homies. I mean, Minwoo and Tommy are amazing guys. They make it super easy to be around. And at the end of the day, you're just hitting a ball with a stick. I don't think too much of it. You might think a little different than me. No, I'm not I'm that good. I'm playing with the good, good boys. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nonsense. Um, nonsense. No, it's great. Um, again, like I said. Uh, we're just boys playing playing some golf, yeah, courses, which is great. Exactly. On really good golf courses, so just try to make some birdies. You've been making a lot of birdies and playing some golf the last couple of months, Minwoo. While most of the golf world was taking time off, you were winning in Australia, you're winning in Asia. You got to feel pretty pumped to make a statement this year on tour. Yeah, um, I'm really excited. Uh, it's my first full year out here on the PJ Tour, so um, yeah, I'm really excited to you know be out here more and and live live here in America. So uh, yeah. Uh, it's always a thing that I wanted to do when I was a little kid, and um, yeah, the good golf is uh, hopefully still there, and um, yeah, hopefully I can make one. 
So, Bobby, I know you're out on the golf course at the moment. Are you still hitting that snap hook, or did Cameron McCormick fix it for you? <laughs> so, so I'm actually I'm caddying today. The other boys are playing. I'm out here caddying. I caddied for seven years, so it fits my uh, fits my game much better. I'm better at that. But yeah, no, Cameron McCormick got me dialed in. He helped me get rid of that snap hook and aiming 40 yards right and accounting for it. We're actually playing a nice butter fade now. Cam's one of the best in the game, and we see him every now and then down there in Dallas. Yeah, it's it's again uh, uh, grateful to be able to work with a coach of that caliber. Butter fade, butter cut. That's my stock shot as well. I know you have your second shots to go hit, Minmu. Thanks for the time. Have a great week in the Coachella Valley, boys. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Appreciate guys. you. Thank you. How about these guys? Young, fun, you know, pushing the needle, pushing the envelope. I heard the crack about my demographic. I'd like to see you run down the fairway like those guys. I think you'd dislocate both hips. At minimum, I would pull a hamstring. I do have some good news, though. Speaking of good, good, we're partnering with the team from Good Good Golf this year, kicking it off with the Good Good Desert Open from grass clippings, rolling hills out in Arizona. Be sure to check out the Good Good crew and many of their friends as they take part in a two-man scramble Wednesday, February the 7th, live in prime time on Peacock.